Sustainability, or in particular climate change, is one of the biggest risks, but also biggest opportunities that we and our customers are facing today. Drive for sustainability starts with our employees. So the key aims of the Centre of Excellence is to develop materials and offer more sustainable product ranges for our customers. We want to be the world's leading, uh, responsible, hassle-free supplier of, of essential components and doing that in the most responsible way possible. We're investing in a number of areas uh, from an ESG point of view, uh, obviously the Centre of Excellence itself, investing in a lot of infrastructure to help us process these new types of materials, investing in a number of themes to help us reduce our energy intensity as well. So Centre of Excellence is about us testing lots of new materials, both recycled content or biomaterials as they evolved, to really help us reduce the carbon impact of the products that we manufacture and therefore help our customers reduce the carbon impact of the products that they manufacture. So within the area, we've invested very heavily in two machines, one being an all-electric machine and one being a servo drive machine, which also has its energy benefits. The reason for the two different types of machines, it takes into account the types of designs of tooling and product ranges we wish to run. It will help us develop our, our processes and make our processes more sustainable. So various different types of testing, um, mainly around materials, but also it will help us test our tooling technologies and also our injection molding processes to become more efficient and reduce scrap rates and also speed up our, our delivery of products. So the Centre of Excellence is going to support us with our components pillar, which is all about increasing the amount of sustainable materials in our products. So back in 2020, we set a target for sustainable materials and we wanted to hit 20% of all of our materials to be sustainable by 2025. We're really confident that we're going to hit that early. We get a lot of requests around improving the data that we provide customers, so the kind of what the materials are, what the weight of them is, all of that kind of information. But we understand that, you know, the end of life is a, a very big concern. So really that is a big focus when it comes to plastic, is making sure that at the end of life, it can either be reused, recycled, or will break down and be compostable. So sustainability is really important uh, to Ecentra. Um, we are a plastics business in, in large parts, uh, so doing that in the best possible way uh, is critical for us. It really is part of our employee value proposition to uh, encourage employees to join a forward-thinking and responsible organisation. We've made great strides forward. We've enabled the business to offer more sustainable products and we're currently running at a global 20% additive rate of recycled content into our global resin manufactured. We think it's the right thing for us to do to be out leading uh, and, and driving the direction uh, amongst our customer group, amongst our competitor set. I think that Ecentra's challenge is the same as many businesses are facing and that is we need to rapidly decarbonise to limit the greatest impacts of climate change. Definitely have a responsibility to make sure that we do everything to make plastic components more sustainable for the future.